Hi everyone, this is Aurelien from the core team talking to you from Paris, France. I am one of the software engineers working on the Node app and in this session I am going to cover the recent updates we have made to the Node app and the reasons why they are an important milestone in our roadmap. To date, the Node app has been installed by more than 200,000 Spioneer, 60,000 of which are active every day. We have also recently released Spynode version 0.3.4, and this is a big milestone because it is the first version that enables a set of selected pioneers to follow the Byte testnet blockchain. The latest version is now 0.3.6, and this version makes some more internal stats visible to users. Some node availability stats, some internal data about the blockchain component, and finally some troubleshooting information. Building this version 0.3.4 was a big chunk of work as we went through more than 10 test iterations with community moderators and with voluntary testers before releasing it to the general public. Due to its nature, the blockchain component has caused a fair number of compatibility issues with various devices and various operating systems. And our goal remains what it has always been make the interface as user-friendly as possible and eliminate as many issues as possible before releasing a version to the general public. We are still focused on user-centric design. We want to emphasize what you care about as a pioneer and reduce the technical complexity for a majority of users. This is in line with our goal of building the most widely distributed and most user-friendly digital currency. Right now, all Node users can upgrade to the latest version. However, for technical reasons, we are not releasing the blockchain component to everyone. We are gradually making it available to users on a rolling basis. We have invited over 100 Node candidates, and we will be inviting more pioneers to start following the PyTestNet blockchain in the upcoming weeks. The point I'm trying to make is, don't be discouraged if you have not seen the blockchain feature. It will be available to you very soon. Our goal is to eventually enable all node candidates to turn on the blockchain component and follow the PyTestNet blockchain. Let me try to explain what this concretely means. First of all, what is the testnet? The PyTestNet is a full implementation of the Py blockchain but it is using a test currency. Whatever you do on the testnet does not impact your real pi balance that is shown on the app. The purpose of the testnet is to validate that the consensus algorithm works in real conditions before moving on to the real deal, which will be called the mainnet. The next session will cover that part in greater detail. Now, what does it mean to follow the testnet? Well, what that means is that these latest versions of the Node app enable a user to join the network and locally record and validate the state of the Pi blockchain in real time. However, those nodes are not receiving connections from other nodes and they are not helping other nodes join the network. That will be part of the super node role. The next session will dive deeper into the specifics of the Byte testnet deployment and how we are planning to gradually move from the current system towards the mainnet. Thanks for watching.